Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech. Susil this side, and this is continuation of SSIS tutorial. So today we are going to see about the package configuration. So what is the package configuration, and when we can use that? So basically, package configurations are a flexible method of dynamically configuring a package at runtime. This gives you a high degree of flexibility in the execution of the SSIS package. So by enabling, you can design the package to the runtime in different environments without having to modify the package file itself so when a package is written not all operations parameter may be known such as the location of the file or the value of the variable so what it mean so it's basically if we are going to design a package and we want to move the package from development environment to prod environment so without making any changes on your file we want to make the change only inside the configuration file so all the values for the connection string the variable values so all the values will be available inside the configuration file so by where we can use that go to on the ssms so here we are having these two tables first is the emp data destination where table and this is emp data environment table so here simply we want to load the data from this nwire table to this wire table so let me go inside the ssdt and here this is our ssdt let me use the data flow task so we can drag and drop this data flow task here double click on that and here let me go in the source so our source which is the sql server table so we can use the oledb source and here let me double click on that click on new here let me click on new again this is our server name so we can copy this cancel it go back to here paste it there inside the database we can select ssis test test connection succeed click on okay again okay again okay inside the table as i told you we can select the emp data environment table in the columns we want all the columns. Let me click on OK. Now we want to load the data into the SQL Server table again. So the destination that should be OLEDB destination. But here, as I told you, so here in the source table, the columns, those are containing NWARECARE data type. As you can see in the name, that is NWARECARE. And in the destination, we have only WARECARE data type. So we have to use the data conversion. So let me use the data conversion in between source and destination and double click on that and we want to modify this so here that should be a string data type let me click on ok and connect with the destination double click on that so the destination table that is emp data destination where in the mapping instead of name that should be copy of name let me click on ok so we have done with this package if we can execute this package then data should be loaded in the table let me check the count so let me execute this package so here it is executed successfully let me stop this package and here so it's 108 data is inserted successfully now here we want to enable the configuration so for that we need to go inside the control flow right click on that then you can see the option for the package configurations let me click on that so here we need to enable the package configurations then we can add so here it will open this package configuration wizard let me click on next so here we can see the type so total we are having five types of the configurations we will check one by one in this video we are going to see about the sql server type so let me click on that so on which db we want to create the table where the configurations data will be available so i am going to use the same so let me click on ok in the table so here we don't have any table or we can use this ssis configuration table so let me use this ssis configuration table and in the filter type we can select this one from this drop down so that's it this is the only thing that you need to do then you can click on next so it is saying the table SSIS configuration already contain the configuration value with the one. So whether we want to use existing or override. So let me override that. 
then we can click on next here we need to select on which property we want to keep inside the configuration so as you can see we are having a lot of properties so first property that i can see the connection string so inside the connection manager inside the properties we can see the connection string so we want to keep this connection string there then if we want to also keep this initial catalog value that should be there after that you can see the properties of this checkpoint and all these so if you want to keep then you can also select this checkbox let me click on next then click on finish so it is added let me now we can go inside the SQL server and here inside the SSIS test we should have a table that is SSIS configuration so let me go inside the table and here let me try to find out the SSIS configuration table so this is the SSIS configuration let me select this table so as of now we can see we are having these two so first is the configuration value for the initial catalog as I told you and second for the connection string so these two values are here now go to on the SSDT package and execute it so it should be executed successfully let me stop this package and here let me go and let me check the value so data is inserted successfully on the destination and here as we can see the values are this so if you want to make the change on this so we can easily make the change so let me copy this connection string and paste it here now let me go and we want to load this data in second instance of SQL server so which is containing SQL 2k17 so instead of this we want to have this slash SQL 2k17 so this will be the connection string so let me copy this and here let me go on the SSIS test right click on that new query and let me copy this and check the value so value 79 and 26 now I want to update this so update on SSIS configuration set configuration value that should be this value where this package path so let me filter for this package path that should be this value now let me execute this so one row affected so now we are going to refer this server and the count that you could see 79 let me try to execute this package now so click on start so it got executed let me stop this go back to here and now we can see it is having 105 so package we did not make any change we only updated the configuration value inside the table and it is going to refer the another instead of SQL server so I hope guys you have understand how you can set up the configuration on your package in the next video we'll see how we can set up the configuration inside the XML and the other options so thank you so much for watching this video if, if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video